Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have an empties. Usually I film these videos when my empties bag is overflowing, so it's not like too bad right now, but I haven't filmed one of these in the season yet, so this will be like my winter one, I suppose. Yeah, because I find I just keep trying to delay it because I have so many products that are like almost empty. But I think it's just time to get rid of this stuff and then those products will be in the next one. So let's just get into it because it might be a long video. I think it's not as full as usual but there's more small things possibly. So I just basically these videos I just pull out things randomly and if I have something to say about them I will let you know. <laughs> So the first one here is a moisturizing foot mask from the brand, I can't see because I tore it off, Cala I think, uh, yes, so I think I got these at Marshalls, I'm pretty sure, um, because I just wanted foot masks because my feet are so dry. And I think I liked this. I don't know if it like did anything. Like these aren't like those kind of foot masks that like make your skin peel off or anything. It's just meant for moisturizing. It says nourishing and hydrating sunflower seed and tea tree oil. So I think I have like four more of these. But there's one of them. Yeah, since we're on masks, I also have this brightening solution from Dr. Jart. I don't remember anything about this. Um, it just says ultra-fine microfiber sheet mask. Oh yes, um, I did have something to say about <laughs> these Dr. Jart masks. I do not like the shape of them. Um, I don't know if it's just like my face, but like the, the eye holes are so small. The mouth is so small, it's just not fun to wear. Um, and even though I have, from Sephora, I have like a sheet mask thing that is like a holder. And even that doesn't help make this feel any better. So I don't think I'll be buying any more Dr. Jart sheet masks at least because I just don't like how they fit on my face. And I don't remember what this did, so I guess it wasn't that great. And I think they're pretty expensive, so. Anyway, that's my thoughts on those. Next I have a Tula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. I did not like this. I used it the whole thing. I use this in the shower as my cleanser. I like to use exfoliators in the shower, um, just because it's easier to like rinse them off and everything. Uh, but I don't find this did anything for my pores. If anything, I feel like when I used this, my pores looked more enlarged than ever. Because <laughs> right now I'm back to using my Aveda, uh, I forget what it's called, Radiant something. It's also an exfoliator. And now my skin is like nicer than it was when I was using this. So. Yeah, I would not get this. And um, also the like the beads in here were there's very minimal amount of them, so it didn't really feel like I was exfoliating much. And I don't know. And this whole this Tula skincare brand, I don't know. Do you guys like any products from this brand? Because I'm also using the Tula like eye brightener stick thing and I don't feel like that does much either and this brand is pretty expensive and um, this is a brand that I get from BoxyCharm and now they're at Sephora and I always like side eye those brands already because I'm like if you were just in BoxyCharm and now you're at Sephora like at a very high price you must be overcharging. Anyway, I don't know. That's just how I feel. So yeah, was not impressed with this. Would not get it again. I have two things of wipes here. And I don't buy, I mean, I do sometimes buy wipes. 
but I try not to because I don't like the waste of white the fact that it's like a one-use product I don't like things like that um, but I got both of these in BoxyCharm. These ones, the Sweet Spot Labs Coconut Lime On The Go Wipes. These are like those kind of like, oh, if you went to the gym and you don't have time for a shower, you can use this like all over your body. And I actually find that these broke me out. I think I'm allergic to something in these. I don't know. But I did use all of them because... I think I ended up just using them as like wipes to wipe off like makeup swatches and stuff. So those are done. Actually, I think there's like, yeah, there's still one in here, but it's like totally dry and there's no, you know, um, stuff on it anymore. So yeah, would not pick those up again. And these ones from Julep Beauty, these are makeup remover wipes, pore refining witch hazel. I don't think I hated these. They were okay, but I wouldn't buy them again. They're 100% biodegradable, <laughs> if that means anything. Um, but yeah, nothing special. I have some makeup products in here that aren't like officially empty but i have to throw them out like i can't pass them on or anything because they are expired unfortunately i have these two lip products from physicians formula so i found that these were expired because i pulled um this one in the shade bear with me i pulled this into my chopping block for lip products and this smells horrible. It smells like vinegar. Do I even want to smell it right now? No. No. There's something very wrong with this. And I smelled that before and it was uh, a Marc Jacobs Beauty lip gloss that went off. It was just like a little point perk. So like the packaging wasn't good and it just went off. This is what this smells like. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I have to get rid of it. I did actually try it on. I'm s <laughs> embarrassed to say. Um, and I actually got like a hive on my lip. So <laughs> if you have makeup that smells weird, don't just try and see if it's actually bad. It's probably bad. So I'm getting rid of this. And then I looked because I do have another one of these that I bought at the same time and I was like, I should check that one out. And this one, like you can just see that it's expired. I don't know if it'll come off on camera, but there's like spots in here that aren't the color of the rest of the gloss. And some of the spots are like darker. I don't know, it's very scary. This one doesn't have the smell though, it kind of does a little, but based on what happened with this, these two have got to go, and it's my fault because I bought these at Winners, which is like a, if you're not from Canada, I think it's TJ Maxx, right? I always get confused with Marshalls and I'm pretty sure Winners is the same as TJ Maxx, and I bought these like after they were already discontinued. So they're probably ancient and that's on me. So I'm not going to be buying any more discontinued drugstore products from those type of stores because yeah, I didn't get to use these much. I do remember really liking them at first, but I don't even think they make these anymore anyway. So those are going in the garbage, unfortunately. Uh, same with this the uh, ordinary high spreadability fluid primer so when i went to do to film my makeup inventory i looked at this and i was like how is this down to here because i've only used this a handful of times and i realized it's because like the moisture that was in this evaporated and now the bottom here is just like a very thick gel and that's not how this is supposed to be like it's a dropper so it used to be quite liquidy so this has got to go also probably the fact that the cap does not 
like close properly is what caused that um anyway so i have to get rid of this one too unfortunately at least this is very affordable so it's not like i wasted a ton of money but yeah this went off on me as well oh here's my favorite toothpaste <laughs> The Crest 3D White Luxe Glamorous White. I unfortunately think they have discontinued this because I tried to repurchase it and I could not find the Glamorous White one. They still have like other kinds in the 3D White. I, I bought one, I don't remember what it's called now, but it's not this one. And I really like, this is my favorite toothpaste, so I hope it's not discontinued and then I just couldn't find it but we'll see anyway I always mention my toothpaste because I was on like a natural toothpaste journey and I did not find one that worked for me I drink a lot of tea and coffee so I need a whitening toothpaste and this is the best one in my opinion so I hope that I can find this again or just find one that works just as good Oh, so we're getting to like some mascaras and there's going to be a lot of mascaras. So I have been rotating through my mascaras because I finished some um, and by finished I mean like they got old and dried up. So I was going through like all the mascaras that I have in my inventory and a lot of them are super old so uh, unfortunately a lot of them I could only use a few times before I had to get rid of them. So this is one of them, the Tristique uh, Good Vibes Mascara. This one's kind of fun because it has a eyelash curler on the top and I actually used it and it was fun to use. Like it actually worked as a eyeshadow curler. Of course it's just like a half lash curler but yeah the mascara itself did not work for me. It was extremely flaky. Um, I'm sure because it's just old because this is kind of one that I like so yeah unfortunately the formula itself was not good so I have to get rid of this I was considering like should I keep it for the eyelash curler but that doesn't make any sense at all because <laughs> It's not like you can just keep the eyelash curler because it's part of the wand. So I'm going to have to just get rid of this. Um, this one, oh, this one from Tarte, the Surfer Curl. This I was surprised was like totally not usable. Look. I don't know. You can, like, you can see how dry and not good this is. Um, cause this wasn't that old, like not as old as some of the other ones and it was in a, like a sealed plastic thing, but it still cannot be used. So unfortunately that one's gone also. Oh, here's my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crest Cherosa. <laughs> 40 black amber plum and vanilla woods spray i love this i got this in some vib sale i don't know when i got this but i used it up this is just the travel size um and this is a dupe dupe it's not like that it's very affordable but it is a dupe for the the perfume that I really like that is called Vanilla Woods. What is the brand? The Seven Virtues, I think. Yeah, if you want something like to get more bang for your buck and you like the sound of Vanilla Woods, get this um, because you get a lot more product for not as expensive, but it's still Sol de Janeiro, so it's not that affordable. <laughs> But anyway, I really like this. I would buy it again, but I want to try the pink one instead first before I go back to this one. So that's an empty for fragrance. Well, for body spray. I have a shower gel from Young Living, the Morning Start Bath and Shower Gel. I really like this one, but I find I go through it too quickly. It's um, very lemongrass heavy. So if you don't like lemongrass, you will hate this, <laughs> but 
I really like it. It's very refreshing. It's called Morning Start. So I really like to have a shower gel that refreshes me because I like to feel awake. <laughs> I don't know. I just really like this one. Um, but yeah, I go through it very quickly. And I really like the one I'm, ha I'm using now, which is also Sol de Janeiro. The Bomb Dia Bright. I love that one. I might repurchase that one. Um, oh, I have another shower gel from Lush. This is the Eggnog. I'm pretty sure it's only in French because in Quebec they don't put English on the Lush products. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's called Eggnog. I really like the smell of this, but it has a lot of shimmer in it. I really liked it though. I'm, I don't know if I'm like waiting till this comes out again so I can get it, but if it, if I did get it in like a gift set or something, I would be happy. Another mini shower gel. This is from Jo Malone, the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I love the smell of the fragrance Wood Sage and Sea Salt. But in this um, shower gel, it's there's something too soapy about this that I did not like and I wouldn't buy this, like, I wouldn't buy Jo Malone shower gels. It's fine when they come with, like, fragrance sets, I guess, but I don't, yeah, I didn't like this. This is actually a body and hand wash. I probably like it more for the hands, but I used it in the shower. Um, because I had it and I didn't want to open the Bombdia Bright until I finished this. Which was kind of silly because I should have saved this for traveling, but anyway, that's an empty. Oh, here's another toothpaste. This one I don't, I don't know, I don't really have much to say about it because it was in my travel bag. The Crest Gum Detoxify. I don't remember anything about this. I probably didn't like it as much as... No, I know I didn't like it as much as my Crest 3D White, but... That means I'm gonna have to get another toothpaste for my travel bag. Oh, here's something very disappointing. I've mentioned in my Shop My Stash, my last Shop My Stash video, the Kosas Hot Liner, Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Lip Liner. This was brand new when I pulled it into my Shop My Stash and it's totally unusable, if you can see. So the whole like length of the product got stuck into the cap here and then when I like put it, I tried to like push it back in but it just like smushed on itself. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> So this is garbage. I mean, I I did actually use it a few times. I mentioned in that shop my stash, I used this like as a lipstick. <laughs> but I felt so silly doing that, for especially for someone that has like hundreds of lip products in their collection. I don't need to be using a broken lip liner. Anyway, this was like it came in a set of three products. So I guess I didn't spend like full price on it, but very disappointing. Do not buy these Kosas lip liners because I've seen other people um, not have this issue, but have them like totally dry out after like one use. So there's something wrong <laughs> with the formula of these. It's not stable. So don't buy these. Oh, here's my tart. <laughs> Do you guys remember my Tarte Aqua Sealer? I was trying to pan this for like three years and I finally decided it's gotta go. Um, it's pretty much empty anyway. It was just like this much at the bottom here. Um, and I think it was expired anyway because the last few times I used it, it looked really dry on me. Like it wasn't sitting the same way on the skin, so it's time to get rid of this. This is the oldest concealer I had anyway, so I'm not like surprised about that one. Oh, I love this. The Clinique SPF 50 face cream. I don't know what's 
happened with this product because it's not available at Sephora. Um, now they only have like in the yellow packaging it's called like the city block or something and I don't know if it's the same formula so I'm not sure if I should purchase that one but I really liked this um, because it's a face cream that's SPF 50 so I could use it like as my face cream and it really worked very well because I wore this in Cuba and I got burnt like everywhere else except my face so yeah this is a really good sunscreen I just don't know if it's still available or if it got reformulated I don't know I'll have to look into that but I would purchase this again if I could there's just some other sunscreens that I want to try and right now I'm using the super goop glow screen and I really like that one so I might repurchase that one although that one's not really a face cream I find like I still have to put a face cream on top of that one I don't know Oh, here's a sponge that I hated, the Pure Sponge. I actually had a pack of three of these, and I gave the other two to my mom. I don't know if she even has used them yet. I'll have to ask her <laughs> to see if she liked them better. But it's just too stiff. It's not, like, soft enough to blend out product. So I'm getting rid of this. I did give it a fair shot, but I don't like it. <laughs> And I have so many other sponges. Here's a... Okay, so we're back to mascaras now. The Hourglass Caution Mascara, right? I loved this one. I couldn't get much use out of it because it was already old. But I could tell from, like, the formula. And I love this wand. This is my favorite shape of wand for mascara where it goes in at the bottom. I also like the one I showed you before where it's kind of like hourglass, but not when it's too fat. It has to be like a thin hourglass. But this one I like even more. And I put this mascara on my loves list, and as I suspected, it's very expensive. So I would not buy it full price. It's like $41 Canadian for the full size of this, but I really liked it. So if it goes on sale, or maybe if during like a VIB sale and I need a mascara, I might get this one. But yeah, really liked that mascara. This one I did not like, but I, can't, I don't know. It might just have been too old. The Tarte Big Ego Mascara. This is one of those like fat ones. It's just super dry and it flaked everywhere. Um, but I also think this wand is not small enough for what I like. But I was hoping to really like this, but I just waited too long to get to it, honestly. So that one's going. I also have a mini Benefit They're Real. This one I don't remember. Was it because it was too dry? Or it flaked or smudged? But it's one of these like plastic bristle ones. Actually today in my my boxy charm arrived today and I got the benefit they're real the magnetic one. I don't think it's the same product. I hope not. <laughs> Let's just look at it actually since we're here. I got this one. They're real mag magnet. Oh no, it's not the same brush, but I think it's gonna be one of those plasticky ones. I don't want to open it because it's brand new, but it looks like this. So this should be interesting. I hope I like it. But yeah, this one's super old anyway. It's going. This one from Iconic London. This was the Triple Threat Mascara. Oh yeah, this one's just like super dry. I can just tell. Um, <laughs> so that one's done. I don't remember what I felt about it, to be honest. This one, I think, was very smudgy. The Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. Oh, yeah. No, this one, it was, yeah, the packaging. So, this, you see how much, like, product is all 
scooped up on there it's because the stopper on this is not small enough to like remove like as i'm doing this i can feel there's not enough of a stopper to like take the excess product off and it just goes everywhere no not good this was from a boxycharm a while ago is that all in mascaras no nope, there's more i told you there's gonna be a lot of mascaras in here this the bad gal bang this one flaked on me also <laughs> but it is one of the brushes that i like where it's um pointy on the end but this is like a plastic one um but i do really like the maybelline sky high i think is my favorite mascara at the moment and that one has the same kind of like plastic flimsy brush but i really like it in the maybelline one but this one was flaky and smudgy and then this anastasia beverly hills this one it's actually in here because I just used it like it has um I mean I used all of these but I mean this one was in like my everyday makeup drawer and I used it as much as I could it this one the brush is too thick for what I like um and I think I think I really liked this at first but it started getting flaky so that's why it's in my empties yeah, that's it for mascara, I think. Yes, <laughs> finally, that's it. There's a hair on my camera. That's it for mascara. So what else do I have in here? Oh, this, where's the cat? Oh. This Juice Beauty, I was so happy when this was done. I feel like I was using this for years. The Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment, this did nothing. And it's very expensive. I think it's like 90 something dollars. And it's really strange because this goes with the Stem Cellular Face Cream. And that product has like a month's worth of use in it. So I was very surprised that this just kept going and going. It's one of these where you like push it down and then apply it like that. I just don't feel like this does anything. And the packaging is very flimsy and cheap. I think because it's more like a green brand. Like maybe it's like um, recyclable or something. But it's cracked everywhere and just... No, for that price I would not buy this again. Mostly because it didn't do anything. If it was good and the packaging was like that, I wouldn't mind, but it's just not, it just does not do anything. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Here I have an Avant Glycolic Mica, oh, what is this? Intensive <laughs> Redensifying Glycolic Acid Day Moisturizer. The names of this brand is just crazy. Um, I think I liked this, but it did have mica in it, so it had like, gave like a glow, so I couldn't use this at night. It was my day cream. I guess I didn't hate it because I used the whole thing. And actually today in my BoxyCharm, I got a night cream from this brand, so now I just, you know, this one's empty, but now a new one has come in. Um, but they're different products, so we'll see if I like that one. But yeah, I don't really remember much else about this. I think I liked it. Oh, the fragrance though was too, was a little too much for me. I think that's what it was. But yeah, I mean, I liked it enough to use up the whole thing. So there's that. Um, this is just a little mini Thieves waterless hand sanitizer. This is my favorite hand sanitizer. Um, because it smells like thieves, which is like, you know, I have the, the essential oil, my household, like, cleaning stuff is thieves, my laundry detergent, <laughs> so I just like the smell of thieves. It's like pepperminty and cinnamony, I don't know. I don't even think there's peppermint in it, but it smells like refreshing, I guess. 
anyway, this um, hand sanitizer. This is what I keep in my purse because it doesn't smell like those horrible hand sanitizers that were like during COVID. <laughs> that we drained the pandemic where you go in the store and it smelled like tequila on your hands no this one is a lot better so i keep that one on me did i not talk about this already this feels like so long ago now but i finally finished my physician's formula bb cream it, every last drop i think i got out of this and this was in a project, right? I think, anyway. So long ago. This product doesn't exist anymore, so I can't tell you, like, to go and buy it. I did really like it, but it's just not a thing, so that's that. Oh, this one was exciting. The Pharmacy Lip Bloom. This was my bedtime lip balm it's totally gone um i actually really like this i think i even like this more than the laneige sleeping mask but again this product is discontinued <laughs> so you can't get it anymore and i really like the smell of it too apple rosemary yes I really liked this. I don't know why Pharmacy discontinued these because they were really good. But yeah, I was um, very excited to finish up a lip balm in a tub because those feel like they last forever. So there's one lip balm out of my collection. Although I don't even think this was in my inventory because it was in my skincare as opposed to like the lip balms that I keep in my makeup. So yeah. Okay, we're almost at the end. Oh my god, it's so... It's dusty in this bag. <clears throat> um, this is the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Make Skin Serum. A little mini. Um, this was in my primer category and I finished it. And I really liked this, actually. I know Farsali went out of business and then I think they came back. So I don't know if this product is still available, but it was really good. Yeah, I kind of wish I had more of it, but it was just like a deluxe sample, I guess. But it was in my inventory, so it counts as one out. So that's exciting. Oh, essential oils, I have two of them. Lime, one of my favorites. I love lime. It's just one of my favorite smells in general. And then Christmas Spirit. I love this um, around the holidays. I, I never have to buy this because I always get it as like a promo or something. Um, but I really like it. As you can tell that I bent you a whole one. Oh yes. It smells like, um, or, like it reminds me of if you were baked orange slices. <laughs> like to make dried oranges, you know, like for like soap or something. That's what it smells like and I love it. So yeah, finished two essential oils. One, this is like a regular size. This one's a mini, but still good to have some out of my collection. And then the last thing is my Essence Make Me Brow, another exciting product. I guess this was an exciting empties in the end. There's a lot of things in here that I've been working on for a long time. This was one of them. If you watch my other videos, you would know I've been using this forever, it seems. And it finally just was, I think it's like totally empty. Like the last time I tried, well, of course now there's like product on it. But the last time I um, went like this with it, like there was no color coming off. So I finally decided to get rid of it. Anyway, even if there's still a little bit in there, this is ancient and it's time for it to go. So that was the last product in my empties. So some exciting things, some, I don't know, not so much. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of things, like I said in the beginning, there's a lot of products that I'm using right now in my skincare, especially that are like, they have like 
two more uses left but I couldn't put off this video any longer so you will see those next time but anyway I hope you like this video um, let me know below if you used any of these products um, if you have empties videos i would like love to see them so yeah if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye